Great is thy faithfulness. Great is thy faithfulness. Morning by morning, new mercies I see. All I have needed, all I have needed, thy hand hath provided. Great is thy faithfulness, Lord, unto me. Great is thy faithfulness by Thomas O. Chisholm. I just wanted to take a moment to share a testimony of God's faithfulness and goodness um, upon my life, upon my family this past um, week. Um, we have been moving, uh, packing and moving um, into a new home, which is about 30 minutes from our other home. So I have been really busy um, for the last few weeks. Seems like my life is busy all the time, but especially in the last um, two, three weeks with this move and um, trying to get the old home clean, ready for rent um, to put on the market. So that took me all week, um, scrubbing everything, uh, every nooks and crannies. Is it crannies or crannies? <laughs> hmm. I'll have to check on that word. But um, you know what I mean, baseboards, bathtubs, um, toilets, floor, vacuum. Um, I did have some help with vacuuming and um, cleaning baseboards and things like that. But it takes a long time to clean, um, you know, a four-bedroom home, and um, it would cost me. It would have cost me three hundred, you know, bucks to get everything done inside and out. Um, but I couldn't afford that, and um, I knew I needed to do it uh, myself as much as I could. But I did uh, have a couple of lady friends that did help me. But anyways, so um, we moved into the new home. And the first time I turned on the water faucet in the kitchen, there was a leak. It was spraying from the side of the faucet. And immediately I was just like, are you kidding me? We had a home inspection done. How was this not caught? You know, so I was like frustrated, annoyed, irritated, and I was like, you know what? I'm not gonna let this um, bother me. I'm not gonna let this rob my peace because you can't enjoy life without peace. So I put it behind me and kept on being busy with, you know, the other uh, 10, 20 items that keeps me busy daily. And, um, you know, on top of driving two hours minimum per day, taking Mr. Ethan uh, to his old school and picking him up and, you know, picking up Micah and my other son, my middle son. So it's been super busy. And um, then the Lord blessed me with a new client and I went to meet up with them and list their home. And, and it's, you know, it's being shown today. She's got a couple appointments. Um from buyers agents to show so I'm pretty excited about that but I'm just ridiculously always busy so let me get to the good part <laughs> so um, I knew that we couldn't you know just shell out the money that we don't have to have this kitchen faucet repair plus we we're dealing with a leaking um, plumbing issue in our first uh, rental home and then we've got work to be done repair and clean and all that for the home we just moved out of so all these repairs issues and items are just piling up and um, I've taken a few months off from real estate um, for a family reasons and um, school reasons I was taking classes and just completed a few weeks ago and um, another thing the South Carolina Commissioner's Office lost my application, my broker application. So, been working on that for the last week. It's just, you know, life happens. And um, of all the applications they could have lost, they lost mine. So, I've got to redo the whole thing, which when I'm done here, I've got to go to my new home, go through boxes for all my important documents that were packed, run to the office, make copies of it, and resubmit my application. So, um, let me get to the good part. So it's been crazy, but um, so I was determined to not let anything, all these expenses of repairs in all of the homes and, uh, you know, not, um, not 
working full time like I was uh, last year so and not drawing an income um, so it was beginning to um, have a a mental burden on me but I refused to let it bog me down and so I was um, asking my girlfriend who lives in the new subdivision I was like hey do you know anybody that um, could help us uh, repair our faucet our kitchen faucet or install a new uh, kitchen faucet so she's like well, you know why don't you post it on our um, subdivisions um, Facebook page so I did and I, I page um, uh, I page I post a um, uh, a help <laughs> wanted ad and then a couple of um, people responded um, and then you know we um, got in contact with uh, a gentleman that lives in the subdivision he's a um, a combat veteran from 1995 and his family lives there and he saw my post and he responded um, with the um, you know compassion and mercy of Christ and so um, he was supposed to come the follow that night he wanted to come that night but um, it was like you know 8 30 and you know we were both getting ready for bed and John was already passed out on the couch from exhaustion because he has early mornings and um, so we were planning for the next night and um, but uh, he couldn't he couldn't come because he was held up at work so I was disappointed because I didn't hear from him but I was like nope I'm not gonna let uh, that um, rob my peace either so as I was wrestling with uh, disappointment in my kitchen you know how frustrating it is when you need to cook and love to cook have to cook and wash um, two sinks of dirty dishes without a working kitchen faucet you know I was uh, turning on the water in the uh, kitchen faucet but I couldn't turn it up high because it would spray all over the place so I've been using it with just a little bit of water um, slowly um, you know just flowing and it would take forever to do anything so it was very frustrating so the Spirit of the Lord quickened my heart you know and I was like instead of being um, frustrated and, and dealing with uh, disappointment and doubts or anything else that you know is trying to rob me of my peace turn your disappointment turn your doubts into praise and pray for the gentleman so I did um, right there in my kitchen I was like you know what father please bless this gentleman bless his family Lord God whatever whatever's preventing him for coming to help us Lord I hope that he's safe protect him bless his relationship with his family his health his finances his relationship with you God just bless him and I meant it with all my heart it wasn't just um, a verbal um, prayer that had no passion or genuine meanings I meant it with all my heart I wanted God to bless his family and then after I was done praying and and um, later on I sent him a message on messenger I said I hope you're okay um, okay um, I prayed a blessing over you and your family thank you for wanting to help me anyways and then I went back to posting another help me add on on our subdivision um, page and then um, he finally was able to contact me um, he wasn't able to contact me during work he's um, I guess a, a nuclear engineer but anyways to make the long story short last night he and his um, teenager son came over and they spent um, about an hour and 15 minutes helping us um, taking out the old kitchen uh, faucet and um, repairing whatever that needed to be repaired replace it with a new faucet and um, and I was talking about food trying to find out what type of food they like because I wanted to bless them back in return and he said that you know they they eat different types of food and I asked him if they like Thai food and he said um, his family enjoys Thai food and he likes red curry and things like that so I'm like oh, okay once we have um, furniture um, you know 
a dining room um, table set and things like that. I'd love to have your family, your wife and children over for dinner because that's my area of um, expertise and giftings, which is hospitality. I love to cook. I love to serve friends and families and whoever else is hungry. Um, <laughs> if you're with me, you're usually going to be eating. <laughs> but anyways, um, it's a gift that the Lord um, blessed me with. I was trained as a little girl in the kitchen by my grandmother, my mom, my aunt, and um, I was always uh, inspired to be around food. I don't, I didn't stay away from the kitchen very long. <laughs> so, anyways, um, and then uh, we were talking about um, chili peppers, um, spicy food, and come to find out, this gentleman grows all kinds of hot chili peppers, ghost peppers. Um, uh, I don't even know Carolina reapers bell peppers chili peppers he grows them in his backyard I guess so he sent his um he sent his um teenager son to his home to get me a huge bag of hot chili peppers various types that he froze and oh my gosh I was doubly blessed because since we left Guam I've not had um any ghost peppers I love those things I love the smell of them the taste of them so I was you know in high heavens yesterday got my kitchen sink fixed I was able to wash dishes I've got a huge bag of chili peppers and um, he also gave us a jar of um, pickled peppers so I just wanted to come on here and just give God praise and encourage you guys that whatever your needs are, whatever it is, you know, if we choose to delight in the Lord our God and we seek ye first the kingdom of God and His righteousness, because the kingdom of God is not about anything, but it's about joy, peace, righteousness in the Holy Spirit. If we put God first, align our lives, our heart, our thoughts, our priorities, our desire, in the Lord, we delight in Him. He will meet all of our needs. Uh, the gentleman did not charge us to do this work. His son was so awesome. They were so awesome. They just blessed us. And when they were done, I asked, I said, "If may I please pray a blessing over you guys and your family? So they said yes. So, you know, we stood in the kitchen and we held hands and I prayed. And as soon as you know we started praying I just my heart melted and I cried with tears of gratitude and just asking Father God to bless him bless them their children their relationship with each other their relationship with him their health their finances you know and, and it was awesome we had worship so um, I'm so thankful God is so good and um, I'm right now believing by faith, claiming, proclaiming, declaring God's faithfulness and goodness in bringing us good tenants, a good family uh, to come <laughs> live in our home and pay us on time. Amen. <laughs> no drama mama <laughs> calling me about everything. So I'm believing that God is bringing them. So ASAP. <laughs> So I just want to encourage you guys to keep your eyes on the Lord, the light in the Lord our God, and He will add everything that we need in pertaining to our lives. Let me end with a couple scriptures to encourage you, okay? God, you have provided for me in every material way. You give me the things that I need, and for that I am so incredibly thankful. I am so grateful, guys. I will continue to trust your provision and rely on your unfailing generosity. Amen. Just want to say that this gentleman and his son and his wife, they model the love, mercy, compassion, goodness of Christ in my home to my family last night. And my heart melted with gratitude and thankfulness and I praise God for them and they inspired me 
this man was teaching his son to do the same as his father has taught him. And I was like, man, we need more men, more fathers like this, this gentleman. So they just so inspired me. And um, I know that God will bless them in tremendous ways as he's already is blessing them and their children. He maketh peace in thy borders and filleth thee with the finest of the wheat. Psalm 147, 14. He hath given meat unto them that fear him. He will ever be mindful of his covenant. And that's Psalm 111, verse 5. God is faithful to those who fear his name, who call upon him, who abide in the shelter of the Most High, who knows his name. Amen. God is faithful. You can trust him. He is trustworthy. He is not a man that should lie. He is the king of all kings. He owns it all. Amen. And he delights to bless his children. He's a good, good father. So I just wanted to encourage you with um, these scriptures. And let me just uh, finish with one more. And ye shall eat in plenty and be satisfied and praise the name of the Lord your God that hath dealt wondrously with you and my people shall never be ashamed. That's Joel 2.26. Therefore take no thought saying, What shall we eat? Or what shall we drink? Or wherewithal shall we be clothed? For after all these things do the Gentiles seek. Gentiles, non-believers. For your heavenly Father knoweth that ye have need of all these things. Matthew 6, 31 and 32. God is awesome, guys. You can put your faith, your trust in him. Call upon the name of Jesus Christ. If you don't know him as your Lord and Savior, you can know him. He desires for you to know him. Amen. He desires to come live in your heart and show you wondrous things. He's faithful. He's your savior. He's your maker. He's your father. He's the king of all kings. And he delights in you. And he delights in all who knows of his goodness and dare to proclaim his faithfulness. He looks for hearts that are loyal to him. Amen. To show himself great and mighty. I love you guys. Thank you for watching. And God bless you.